Hello everyone, welcome to the 2022 New York City um, Auto Show. Today, I'm at the Con right now I'm at the Con Ed booth and I got a big surprise. The Bollinger B2 is on display. If you guys were following along, Bollinger was an electric truck manufacturer. They started in New York and moved to Detroit to continue development. Uh, it was supposed to be originally a consumer vehicle, but their price point was a bit high. It was probably about as much as what the Hummer or those type of vehicles, 120, 150,000, maybe even more by the time they got to final production as a new company. So they decided not to go with the consumer vehicles, but to do um, vehicles for commercial use. So this is um, a truck that Con Ed is testing out. Right now it just has um, a regular B2 with a truck bed and some roof rails, but they are planning to customize the chassis for use in the field. This chassis, they say, can go from a class three to a class six vehicle. Um, so there's a lot of um, modularity allowed with this vehicle. I've always loved the look of this boxy truck. It looks like it's ready to work. It's um, painted unlike the um, Tesla Cybertruck, which has a stainless steel body, but it still does look rugged and ready to work. Um, very utilitarian. So Bollinger is saying that you can get up to four battery um, sizes, starting with 70 kilowatts and going all the way up to 280 kilowatts with four packs of their 70 kilowatt hour battery and an extended frame. As you can see here in the bed, um, the, the center gate drops. Right now the bed is not level. Well, I guess when the, tail, when the center gate um, drops, then it will be a flat floor in here. Um, to allow easy access or more load carrying capabilities. Um, they've got four plugs in the back here um, for hookups and they've got this rails that are modular that are just um, screwed in on the side of the bed so you can make different attachments. It looks like it's all covered in um, some kind of weather protector scratch liner um, on the inside. The outside is just paint. Um, but it, it really does feel and look heavy duty. This is a truck I would have loved to see on the street. Hopefully they will still make a commercial um, version. Um, no wind down windows, they just slide um, back and forth like an old style um, VWs buses. And here we can see they have two radiators on top. Um, I think this was a change from the original design and they have a pass-through right behind the headlights. So air goes in, goes to the radiator to cool the batteries, cool the electronics. Um, you know, this thing just looks like it's ready to rock. It's got the unique three, um, three blades windshield wipers, which I think the Hummer also has. So it is a wide vehicle. Something I'm surprised it doesn't have are the three lights that indicate a, a wider vehicle. They probably will do that um, for, for road legality, but maybe this version is not, not that wide. Um, it looks it though, with the squared off looks, the broad shoulders. Um, it definitely does look like a big vehicle, like get out of my way, especially in this kind of matte black hair. But I'm very excited that Con Ed is investing in this. You know, they should be the first to go electric. They are the power company for New York City. Um, you know, paying for electricity versus diesel for them should be a no-brainer. And also having power at the site is, is also great for Con Ed because they do a lot of work in the field and um, usually they're locations where the power is out. Um, so they need to bring onboard power with them to, to work and to power their equipment. And also, unfortunately, um, if you've been following, New York City has an anti-idling law, uh, which I was involved in early on. And Con Ed, unfortunately, is one of the biggest offenders. They um, have a lot of violations. And just looking on open data, which gives you information on companies and what's going on in New York City, Con Ed does owe quite a bit of fees in idling charges. So this will help them do that also. They'll avoid idling charges. They'll have um, power on the work sites. This will be a win-win for New York City and Con Ed. As you can see, the inside of the door is just flat. <laughs> There's a handle, as a kind of an armrest, and that is it.
Very unique. Oh, can I get a peek yeah, inside? Get yeah, yeah I, I love the Bollinger. Um, this, this thing is amazing. Not too much to see on the inside. Basic armrest. Looks like a toolbox, actually. Pass through. And a few switches. Um, looks like they're made of probably steel, chrome. Um, and simple gauges. That's it. But as utilitarian as it gets. And the roof also does come out. But I'm not sure if that would be on the work truck. <laughs> probably, probably go for a steel roof. And um, that's it. That's the Bollinger. Beautiful truck. Hope to see it on the roads with Con Ed. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, like and share to help our channel grow. And below you'll find links to our website, evolveelectric.org, our Twitter and Instagram.